Shifting gears now to the University of Illinois. The university is the first in the U.S. to partner with a company called Nanonuclear Energy Inc. to build a research micro reactor on campus. So what does all of that mean? Well, joining us now is the founder, executive chairman, and president of Nanonuclear Energy Inc., Jay Yu. Jay, thank you so much for joining us. So talk about just how impactful this is going to be being the first university in the U.S. to partner with your company, and what does this mean? Thanks for having me. Um, you know, Nanonuclear Energy is a vertically integrated microreactor company, and we're partnered with the University of Illinois to build the first microreactor on a university campus in the U.S. Uh, we're very proud of this. And what this means is in a few years, we'll be able to generate energy that could be deployed to the university and also to um, the the public as well. So we're going to be building it on its campus. And today was was a big event for us. We had our ceremony of for drilling. We're partner with AECOM where they're going to come in and drill. And we're going to use that data to submit for a construction application with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in Q1. Yeah, really exciting for you guys having that groundbreaking today. Um, were you on campus for that? Tell me just what the energy was like if you were there. Yes, we had a huge ceremony. We had stakeholders. Uh, some of our uh, advisory board leaders were here who are former U.S. national leaders like General Wesley Clark, who's a four-star general and former Supreme Allied Commander of NATO forces. We also have uh, Vice Admiral Joe Leidig. So, the U.S. military needs this uh, and for en energy independence, for energy security. And we we had a, he a large amount of media there as well. So I think Chicago, Illinois, um, Champaign, I mean, the country needs this, the state needs this as well. And Jay, Illinois currently has six nuclear power plants generating more energy than any other state. Will this make it a seventh or because it's a micro reactor, will it not count toward a full running power plant? Yeah, it, it is a power plant. It's just a micro power plant and micro reactors are categorized as 20 megawatts or less. So you're looking at um, it is a full power plant. It's just a miniaturized one where we can once again um, make it extra safe. Uh, nuclear is already safe, but our technologies have no liquid coolant. Uh, so they can't melt down. Um, even if you shoot a rocket at, at, at our fuel, it just passively cools. It would never blow up. Um, so this is the new nuclear technologies that nanonuclear is building in, in the state of Illinois. Super cool. And where are you guys based? I saw you have uh, some facilities in Tennessee, uh, one in Oak Brook. As yes. Well? Yeah. So Oak, Oak Brook, um, we recently acquired a 24,000 square foot dual use engineering and development facility. Um, you know, that will be used to put together our flagship Kronos micromodular reactor, um, it, which is being built on the campus of University of Illinois. And then, um, yeah, uh, we have other facilities, but our flagship and our home for our technical use is in the state of Illinois. And Jay, what made you guys choose the University of Illinois? Do you have personal ties or was it the first university willing to play ball? Yeah, so we actually at Nanonuclear acquired um, this technology. So it came along with a package um, deal with, with the University of Illinois. So we reestablished that uh, we are now heavily investing into that and we're hiring, you know, hundreds of high paying jobs in the state. Uh, the governor and the state has recently given us a six point eight million dollar grant and incentive uh, to help create jobs and to help build up the technical teams here in the state of Illinois. And what about for students at U of I who are going into this field? Will there be any research opportunities for them, whether it's undergrad or grad school, um, but for them to really get hands on here once this this plant is up and running? Yeah, great question. Um, we are leveraging the, the engineering department at the University of Illinois. So um, we have that collaboration going on. So 
human capital in engineering, whether it's mechanical, nuclear engineering is very important to us. So having a pipeline from the university of graduates that we could hire is a, is a big plus for us as well. Um, but that collaboration is definitely important for us for the future of building this reactor. And, and kind of explain in a nutshell how the technology works, how the power plant is going to work to help power parts of campus when it is all said and done. Yes, yeah, so it's a 15 megawatt electric output. And the goal here is to create the reactor in or around by 2030. Uh, and with that, the technology we use no liquid coolant is is a high gas temperature reactor. It's a well known technology. We're essentially miniaturizing it and using the next generation of uh, uh, fuel, nuclear fuel. That once again, it's it's coated with tank armor. Um, so th there's so many parts of it where it's safe. We call it a walk away safe reactor because. Once again, it just passively cools into the environment. It will never melt and explode um, like like the larger uh, civil nuclear reactors. So that is our technology, and we're very happy um, with what's happened so far in this state and what's going to happen on the campus of University of Illinois. And Jay, if for those who are watching who are familiar with the campus, where exactly will it be situated and how big is it going to be when you're just walking around campus? Will will this be something you notice when it's done? Uh, it, it, it doesn't have a huge footprint, so it's right by the current um, power plant, the Abbott power plant. Uh, so it's right adjacent to it and we're going to be leveraging the existing facilities and the power plant there at the University of Illinois. So it will only take a few acres. Um, and right now we're drilling. So we're, we're now going out under there and looking at site characterization. Uh, but it's it won't be that noticeable. Like I said, it's part of that whole infrastructure the, of the plow, power plant. So it'll just look like another building, a part of the whole scope of the power plant. And finally, you mentioned 2030. Is that when everything will be done, hopefully, construction-wise? Yes, we we anticipate by early 2030, we will have a full, fully constructed Kronos mo micromodular reactor on campus that will be powering with an output of 15 megawatt electric and 45 megawatt thermal. Um, we're really excited about this and we're well funded, so this is not if it's going to happen, it's about when it's going to happen. And then one more thing, you know, you mentioned 15 megawatt. How, how many homes, how many buildings, like explain the scope of how much that can power? Yeah, so if you want to just put it in perspective, uh, 15 megawatts would power roughly about 15,000 homes. So it, it can power industrial sites. Wow. Um, it's great for military bases that want to be off grid, um, natural disaster relief, uh, island communities. So being able to keep things off grid is very important, especially for the military right now and, and their front lines, because the war has changed then. And it's all about drones these days. Right. So they want to be able to power their drones and their front line. Jay Yu, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to following the progress of that site.